AMC, and we're doing problem 6. The least positive integer with exactly 2021 distinct positive divisors can be written in that form. And we're trying to find M and K, where M plus K is the final answer. So M times 6 to the K, well, we're trying to find divisors here. So how do you find divisors? Oops, that's a very bad line. How do you find divisors? Well, number theory basically tells us that if I have some integer A, that can be written as prime 1 to the nth power times prime 2 to the m power, and you get the idea. This goes on and on. And to find the number of divisors, that'll be just m plus 1 times m plus 1. And if I have like prime 3 to the k power, that would be k plus 1, and etc. So obviously, we want to relate it to this formula over here. And we also know that its prime factorization, or from this we can get it, will be m times 2 to the k times 3 to the k, because 6 is 2 times 3. So we want to find some unified k such that multiplied by, by another m, we can get the final quantity. Well, I don't know like how to find that k efficiently, so instead of supposing it to be 2 and 3, let's just say it's prime 1 to, you know, to some number times prime 2 to another number, right? Or prime th and prime 3 just, just to be safe. So to do that, let's first find out the divisors of 2021 so that we can actually write down n and m. So 2021, well, factors has to be prime, so we can only test prime numbers. 1 obviously doesn't work, 3 doesn't work, 5 doesn't work, 7 doesn't work, 11 doesn't work, because 2 plus 2, yep. And then 13, well, 13, 3, that doesn't work, uh, 14, 17. And essentially what you have to do is that, as unfortunate as it may sound, you have to test through every single number that's prime. And then after you test it out, you eventually arrive at 47. And I've done this off camera, which trust me, took some time. So when you get 47, right? You get 4, um, we can get 4, we can put 5, we can't put, so 4, um, 1, 8, so 4, 1, 1, and then that puts 3. So we get 47 times 43 um, is equal to 2021. So with that, we know that n has to be equal to um, 47 minus 1, and m is equal to uh, 43 minus 1 because of this formula right here. So that's equal to 46, and that's equal to 42. So prime 1, um, I'm running out of room here, so let's clear up some space. I'll delete this part right here. So we know that prime 1 has n, so that's 46, times prime 2 with 42. So we're trying to find the minimum number here. So what is the smallest prime numbers that we can put? Well, that's 2 and 3, right? So 2 and 3, well, larger the exponent, larger the value. So let's put 2 to the 46, and let's put 3 to the 42nd. So once we do that, we also know that it's written in the form of 6 to the k. So that means the power of 3 and the power of 2 has to be the same. And they're not the same, so how do we get it to the same? Well, 42 is less than 46 by 4. We can't magically add um, 3 to the 4th power because we can't do that. So we can only take away. So we can, so we can um, or rather, we can take away from here. Like we want to get reduced this 46 to a 42 because obviously we can't, increase 42 to 46. We can only decrease. So to, to get 2 to the 46 into 2 to the 42nd, we, we divide this by 2 to the 4th, right? So that means that's 2 to the 42nd times 3 to the 42nd times 2 to the 4th, right? And then this combines to be 6 to the 42nd, which is our k value, and 2 to the 4th becomes our m value, which is equal to 16. So 42 plus 16 gives 58, bringing us to answer choice B.